State of the Union speech, President Trump, I'm sure you watched the whole thing. <laughs> what, do I, you, what, what stood out to you? I'm sorry for laughing, but when I watched the speech at first, I remember Speaker Pelosi raised her hand out to shake hands. And she was in a very adversarial position, so I didn't quite understand that gesture. And then towards the end of the speech, she began to rip the speech up. But the real thought about it, what was she destroying? What was she ripping up? There were so many people honored in that speech, giving honor to whom honor is due. The Tuskegee Airmen, 100 years old, with his great-grandson standing there with him. I think I got tears on that one. I received tears as well when the little girl and her mother, uh, she, the little girl got a scholarship yeah, to go to I school saw that. For, What do you think about wherever. some Democrats not clapping or even standing up for both of those examples you just gave? I believe that was so mean-spirited not to be able to celebrate at that moment. Uh, when the decorated uh, soldier came back and rejoined his family, when the mother held her little baby girl who had been healed of a condition, that's what she was tearing up. That's, that's what I didn't get. So even if you don't like the president, don't agree with the president's policies, how can you disrespect all of those beautiful Americans who are being honored? Yeah, and, and you talked about the, the young woman who received a scholarship to go to the school that yeah. she wanted to go to. And as Trump had pointed out, that there are some schools uh, that are failing. in America that are failing. So this gives uh, minorities especially a chance to get out of some of the neighborhoods that Absolutely. they're in to go to the school that they want to so that they can create the life that they want. And the little girl, when her mother told her, she was like, I had a beautiful smile on her face. There were so many beautiful testimonies. And for those who say that President Trump is self-centered and only talks about himself, they really need to watch that speech because he honored so many people. And uh, you, you touched on this, Nancy Pelosi ripping up his speech. This is historical. And as you talked about, it touched on all of these beautiful stories. Right. What does that say about our House Speaker? Our House Speaker cannot see the forest for the trees. And so she's unable to go beyond those feelings or emotions or whatever it is that drives her to join her colleagues in this uh, bogus impeachment effort to see the beautiful America that is blooming before our eyes. She can't see it. So you wouldn't agree with some who say that that was strength, that was brave. That's how it's been described by some. I can't imagine. It doesn't take a lot to tear up a piece of paper. I don't have to get up out of my seat. I don't have to threaten anybody. That's, if that's strength, wow. I think keeping promises, that's strength.